Hey, what's going on out there, A Bay of Illinois? It's your state legislative coordinator, Josh Wachowski. Uh, look, I keep seeing it out there time and time and time again. Everybody keeps sharing the fishing group one or the other guy that says, oh, hey, I found a way to get a forever trailer plate. This is the ST plate. We have covered this, I don't know how many times uh, on these videos, on the short updates like this, on our weekly shows. The ST plate is not a good way to avoid the TA plate increase. It exposes you to numerous legal liabilities. You do have to get that trailer inspected annually at an IDOT facility, and it has to be you have to have that paperwork with you. You can be pulled over for weight check numerous times. I don't know how many times we've got to say it. Secretary of State, Illinois Commerce Commission, anybody that does roadways or any kind of regulatory stuff can ask to make sure that that vehicle is properly plated. Why? Because the ST plate is designed as a commercial plate. What it does is it says that whatever vehicle you are towing with, that is the combined weight for the pulling vehicle and the trailer. This was designed for people who have large semi-trucks, tractor rigs that are very, very heavy with a high gross vehicle weight that pull multiple trailers. This allows farmers to be able to tow multiple grain trailers with a single tractor. This is what it was designed for. Freight companies, all that fun stuff. It was not designed for Joe Yokel, who wants to avoid the excessive TA plate fee with his fishing boat or his small little trailer. I'm going to tell you right now, there are people that are working on closing what they think it may possibly be a loophole, but what they're actually going to do is they're going to make it more explicit that the ST plate is not designed to be pulled behind a personal vehicle. So stop sharing the ST plate thing around about the forever plate, because what you're going to do is expose people to further legal liability, and you're going to find yourself stuck when the state makes it very explicitly clear that that is not designed for towing behind a personal vehicle. Now, as for what is really going on within the trailer plate stuff, you heard last week members from Operating Engineers Local 150 testify in committee that they are willing to go with a $36 plate instead of 18 Yes, it's double. Yes, it is $7 above where this plate would have been with inflation, which is $29 but at least it is a starting point. Those negotiations are happening as part of the overall budget implementation bill, which is a large bill. When we've got details on what bill number that is, we will send that out. For everybody who keeps asking every two or three days, hey, what's the latest, what's the latest, even after they've seen the latest, things don't change every two days down at the State House. Literally what happened on Thursday stood for Friday. It's Monday. Um, it's the same kind of thing. Yes, I get the anger out there. I understand why people are horribly upset about the ridiculous 500% increase that was put on people in the state of Illinois for itty-bitty trailers, including the small trailers behind the motorcycles. But for those people out there who are trying to say that a bait of Illinois isn't doing our part to try to repeal this ridiculous fee, you very obviously have not been paying attention to this Facebook page, to any of the numerous stories that have been printed statewide that mention Abate of Illinois, to the floor speeches that are put out down there at the Illinois House that are mentioning how Abate members are explicitly talking about this issue. So I'm going to give you a choice. You can either keep complaining online, being a little keyboard warrior, or you can get active with your local abate chapter and find out what you can do to help fight this. Or even better yet, you can call your state representative, your state senator, and then call the office of State Representative Mike Zaleski, who is the chairman of the House Revenue Committee that had the committee testimony on Thursday or Wednesday last week and will also be deciding the budget bill that we're going to see that's going to have the final number in it. So if you want to do something, pick up the phone. If you want to keep sharing bad information and complaining, well, you're not helping the situation and you're nothing worse than any other Facebook keyboard warrior. So I hope you do the right thing. Get active out there. Get on things. Help us out. Help us help you. Don't share the bad information. Do contact your elected officials. 
Other than that, stay tuned for more updates. We're going to have our show again Wednesday, 8 p.m. this week in Abate. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.